Hi, I'm the Moorlander and this is Moorlander EDC. Now, if you are after a tough backpack that will be able to get you through pretty much whatever you can throw at it, but is smaller than the average, today we are here to look at 20 litre backpacks or less. Now it's widely accepted, acknowledged that that 20 to 30 litre backpack range is perfect for everyday carry, perfect for day walks. But that means that there are a lot of amazing backpacks that are less or 20 litres or less that are kind of being overlooked and I wanted to shed some light on just how useful a smaller pack is. The saying the more you know the less you need is great and these are great examples of how you can start to adopt that sort of way of thinking. Now the first one that we're going to look at is an 18 litre backpack from Agilite and this is the AMAP3. Now Agilite are an Israeli company that specialise in military gear. In fact they build, have built over the last how many decades their reputation on building gear that is a direct reflection on the feedback that they get from their military users and also people that you know, just want to stay protected. So this is designed and this is, uh, out, out of all of the ones that we'll look at, this is a, a, a very typical assault style pack. So it is designed um, to be used on the back of a plate carrier. They've recently released some of their, uh, their newer K9 versions of their plate carriers and this will work directly with these. The straps themselves are held on by these D-rings which makes them very simple to remove but also incredibly tough. When they're on there, they really aren't coming off. And then with this strip down the center here, which I'll lift up, you've got some Velcro onto there, you can easily attach this to one of their, um, one of their chest, sorry, one of their plate carrier systems. There are also adapters that you can get for these so that you can attach this to any system that you've got. The straps on here, incredibly comfortable straps. It is a smaller pack when you're walking with this. It does have a smaller footprint on your back, which is great, especially in uh, warm seasons like this, which I'm sure you can probably understand uh, in Israel, it's very warm. Uh, so there's plenty of ventilation through the back and also really nice uh, mesh on here. On the front, it works with compression straps on either side. There are large YKK zippers. This is also made from 500D Cordura. With a pull down, you get a swift open and here you get access to your full 18 meters. Hook and loop all the way through the back, hook and loop all the way through the front so you can increase your modularity with this. You can pretty much stick whatever it is that you need to stick on here. Um, and there is also, across the top as well, there is a slot so if you do want to put in some armor or whether that's soft or hard, you can put that in here. And then you've also got additional lashing points here on the inside as well. Although this is small, this really is built like a tank, it really is. The construction of this is absolutely amazing. Now on the front, oh, grab handle on the top is huge. If you're in a sticky predicament and you, have, you need to be pulled out of that, or if you have a friend that you need to pull, you can, I mean, you can get three hands on this, it's that big, and it is definitely not coming off. Bar stitched across, and then you also have some additional support through the top as well. What you also get on this is a beaver tail. So the beaver tail on here is used with these G-hooks. Uh, this adds an additional eight liters. I'm sure it's eight liters, but you can put a, a military style helmet in here. Um, or if it's not being used, across the back here you have some hook so that if you fold this over on the outside, you have some loop which then gives you access to all of the laser cut pals webbing here on the front which again just adds to the modularity that you can get from a small 18 litre pack like this. So yes, this is the AMAP 3 from Agilite. Now next up from Finnish company Veristalica, we have the Sarma TST CP15. As you can probably guess from the naming convention on this, this is a 15 litre backpack. This is the midget in a fight that won't stop fighting. And of all of the packs that we have here today, this is by far the toughest pack that I have ever come across. Made from 1000D Cordura, 
all of the stitching on here is box stitched. All of the buckles on here are metal. They really wanted to make sure that you get the most out of this. So everything on here is metal, apart from two parts where you have a quick release here, which you can swap out if you wanted to with some G-hooks. And then you also have the waist belt as well, which uses a plastic buckle, which again, you can swap out for metal if you chose to. This thing genuinely is a freaking tank, honestly, but 15 liters does exactly what you can get. So on the back, the suspension system, suspension system on this is very simple. It can be removed as well at the top and the bottom. You can, it also comes with, if I just take these out for a second, it comes as standard with what Veristalecker um, say are the finish straps. So these are designed for hardy finish shoulders that will, you know, take a pounding. There is no padding on these whatsoever. It is just um, Savota's own webbing, which by the way is just ridiculous how tough this webbing. If it is that you have a more softer shoulder, then you can get these padded shoulders which they've designed for Swedish people. That's exactly how they, uh, how, how they say it. Uh, but yes, these can be removed at the back and also should you need to, and you need to use this to, to stow that in here, there is, um, there is there's a, a sack here on the back as well. As far as the opening on this is concerned, it has that classic kind of clamshell opening. The, uh, the straps on the side or the compression straps on the side, rather than using plastic buckles, they have these uh, G-hooks on here, which just hooks on simply to the PALS webbing on the front. And with the pull on this, you get instant access to everything on the inside. Now on the front panel, there is plenty of uh, small compartments in here. So if you do need to stow some additional things or you know you need to segregate certain items from other items, then you can do that. Just makes it a little easier for you to be able to grab certain things. And then across the back, you have this large uh, hook and loop panel. Now what it will draw your attention to in here is if I, if I pull this from the back for a second, You'll be able to see that there is some additional gusseting here on the side, which means that if you want to add a little bit more into here, you certainly can do. This is rated, or I suppose that the volume of this is 15 litres, but you can actually fit a little bit more into this, mainly because that back panel does splay out if you need to. YKK zips. In fact, all of the all of the bags that we're going to have a look at today, they all have YKK zips. I'm just going to hold that there for a second. But yes, so as, as I mentioned, Verestaleka have worked with Savota, who are, well, world famous Finnish backpack maker. So the DNA on this pack is Savota through and through, uh, but Verestaleka worked with them so that they could, you know, create an exceptionally tough pack. And I'll, I'll say it again, of all of the packs that we have a look at today, the Verstaleka Sama TST CP15 is by far the toughest of them all. Now keeping things in the same country of Finland, I thought we'd take a look at the Savota Jakari Small. There are three or four different versions or sizes of this. Savota make a Jakari small, medium, large, and then extra large as well. This is the smallest version of all of them. This comes in at 20 liters. However, if you choose to, rather than the others that we've looked at having that front clamshell opening, this is a roll top top loader. So you can close this to give yourself an extra two liters at the top bumping it up to 22 litres. I think the vast majority of these, the main capacity is 20 litres or less, but there is a little bit of wiggle room in there so that you can put in a little bit more. Uh, similar to the others, you know, you get the addition of PALS webbing through the front and the sides. The Jakari small really does do simplicity at its best and this is possibly one of the best packs to use as a solid foundation to then add more uh, pouches different things to this so that you can then um, just kind of build on this using this as the foundation um, made as well from 1000d cordura the webbing on this is savota's own webbing and again you know with the with the 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 one that we just looked at um yeah 
it's just different. A lot of the webbing, whichever webbing company that people tend to use, um, I think this is one of those ones you just have to feel it to believe it just to see what different the, the difference is on here. But yes, it is a top loader. It's very simple. You just put everything in here. Um, it uses this really nice coated um, a cordura so that when you've got stuff in here there is a DWR in fact everything that we're having a look at today has a coating on the outside so that water will run off it but should you get to the point where you're in a ridiculously bad downpour then the lining of this will keep everything nice and dry on the back it's just more of that simplicity. It doesn't have what you'd class as a padded back panel. Um, instead, it just has the cordura that's on there. It's great if you're after something that's nice and light that you can grab, you can just get out. Not the best in warmer countries because there's no airflow through the back here. Um, but the way this is designed again, you know, I, I keep harking on about simplicity and, and that's where this, you know, it, it, it's, it has that foundation. Through the straps, the straps are just made with this uh, one and a half inch webbing. If you want to though, if you prefer something and I mean with 20 litres you can still carry a, quite a bit of weight in there um, so if you wanted to you can also get uh, removable uh, shoulder pads that you can get for this or to make their own removable shoulder pads so you can purchase those separately but this is such a classic backpack I'm going to say it again but with the Savota Jakari small simplicity really is key with this but for another 20 litre backpack, it, you know, it's definitely one that you shouldn't overlook. Next up, we're staying within Europe, moving from Finland to Poland, we have the Helicantex Bergen. This is an 18 litre backpack made from 500D Cordura, and as you'd expect from Helicantex, is available in like a trillion different colours. Helicantex are the gold standard, I think, I believe, my own personal opinion, in just having as many options for different colors as, as, uh, as you need. Uh, now this is possibly one of the most traditional backpacks, Bergens that there is. Although I will say, so as far as the Bergen is concerned, now a Bergen generally is a backpack that has some sort of rigid structure in there. Most of the time that tends to be um, an aluminium frame. I believe that Helicantex have used the name Bergen mainly just as an inspiration for this pack. And in fact, if you look at this, you can't help but not look at this and think of those classic uh, US military Alice packs. It is a top loading um, bucket style uh, backpack with additional pouches across the front that you can put things into for quick access, which is very reminiscent of those Alice packs. But getting back to the back, so there is no um, rigid frame structure within this. However, this one out of all of the packs that we'll have a look today has the most well engineered, I was trying to think of a word then, but this has the most well engineered back panel to it. So there is a rigid backboard in here, which I think is where okay we can kind of keep it on the lines of a Bergen um, really nice airflow through this inverted Y flow Y or inverted Y that you have here sits perfectly on either side of your back and then you've also got some um, th the material that's used here is just a little bit more comfortable as well the straps on this are ridiculously comfortable they are very nice and when I say plush I'm talking kind of it, it's almost go rook kind of plush. Um, the vast majority of the ones that we'll have a look at today also have sternum straps on here, and the vast majority of them well also have uh, quick release shoulder straps should you need them. Now getting back to the front, we have two buckles um, which will open up. There is a snow hood in here, so if you're concerned about dust and debris getting into here, you can put all of your kit into here and it will stay nice and safe. And this is where the full 18 litres of this pack comes in into this large section. Now, as I've kind of alluded to with, with other packs, this is slightly more than 18 litres, mainly because you also have these three um, 
external pouches. These are completely and fully attached to the pack, however, there are pass-throughs behind them. This is part of their uh, outdoor, out, uh, part of their bush line range. So if you have items that you want to put through here, whether that's silkies, whether that's uh, knives, whether that's axes, you can pass all of these through behind each of these um, so that you, it, you just get additional kind of storage. The two side pockets open out, dead easy to be able to get stuff in and out of, whereas the one on the front has it slightly different because you have a drawstring on here just in case of stuff, again, that you want to make sure doesn't fall out. For an 18 litre pack, this doesn't feel like an 18 litre pack, this feels like a 25 litre pack easily. Helicon Techs have done some strange math geometry on this so that you just really do feel like you can fit more into this. Being able to commute with this on a daily basis, being able to get my laptop in here. Now it doesn't have a dedicated laptop section. There is, uh, there is a, um, uh, a pouch that you can slide things into. It's, it's not really for laptops, but I can fit my 16 inch laptop into here and be able to get to work and have no difficulties whatsoever. Um, it is definitely a bit of a TARDIS when it comes to uh, when it comes to backpacks. But yes, this is a fine example of a traditional Alice-inspired Bergen from Helicon Tex. Now, just a short stone throw from Poland. We're now moving to Germany. We have the Tasmanian Tiger Survival Pack. This is a 16 litre pack that I first got my hands on this year at IWA. Now, I have to say. This arrived yesterday and I've been very excited to get this. I nicknamed this the Frankenstein pack because what Tasmanian Tiger have done with this is they've gone and they've found all of the best bits from so many different packs, Frankenstein them all together and put it into this one very strange pack. Now I say strange with the absolute highest amount of respect that is due because there's just so much in this. On the front you have a couple of quick access pockets for all of the things that you need to get to. There is then another pocket here at the top which you can stow away uh, one of these, these grab handles. In fact I'm just going to take this off here for a second because the way that this grab handle sits in here, normally when this is out of the way it just looks like a flat normal panel, but you can pull this out then there is another one on the back here and you can carry this similar to, to a tote. It also has grab handles on either side depending on how you, want to, how you want to hold that. The straps if you want to, you can put them into another panel here at the back so that you can get rid of those and just carry this as a tote. Honestly, they, they've tried to put in so much in this and it shouldn't work because it, it just well, it just shouldn't, but it, it does work on ridiculous amount of levels. Daisy chaining through the front, so you can put um, some, um, some elastic through here. In fact, it does come with the elastic, should you want to add that. We also have some G-hooks underneath here as well, so if you have um, a pouch, you can fit the pouch to the front, even though it has this clear look to it. It's constructed from a 700D Cordura. A lot of the ones that we've looked at are either 1000, which is very tough, but also quite heavy, or they are 500, which isn't as tough, it's still very tough, but a little bit lighter. So the 700D Cordura is almost the best of both worlds. On the back here, as I mentioned, you have these, um, you have the grab handles. The straps on here are a little bit more lightweight, but it, if it feels as though it's actually a higher density, almost like a closed cell foam in there, which gives you the same kind of support that you get with some of the other packs, but it's just a lot thinner. Sternum strap, uh, you have quick release, silent quick release, which I love the details that uh, Tasmanian Tiger add to these. Also on the bottom here, I unzip this because this is a survival pack you also have a rain cover in here which also doubles up um, as a high vis uh, option so that you can be seen should you want to be seen and then on the inside this is this is what I absolutely love about this pack okay so are you ready 
all of this comes with this. All of these additional pouches come as part and parcel of this pack. So on the top here, there is another cover on here which you can attach to this, maybe, maybe if it's not raining, but you just want to be seen if you're in a situation where you need to be found. All of these pouches have this really nice mesh so that you can see through here. You have hook and loop at the top, so should you want to put different name, set of different name bits into each of these. Another one here which also has some hook and loop on the inside because these do come off. So if you wanted to put these on the inside here, then you can do that. Then on the, uh, on, on the front panel, you have more of these. So this is another one that can be removed. If you did want to use the inside here for CCW, or you know you have some other packs or other pouches that you want to add to this, you have laser cut pals webbing on the inside. Then at the top, you have two more of these smaller pouches. Now these can't be removed, but they're nice and small, so it's not an issue. And then inside one of these, you then get your little bungee system, should you want to add a bungee system to the inside of this pack. On the outside, we've already seen the bungee system or the little loops that you can have, but through the inside, all the way through here, you have more of these loops so that you can completely go nuts with this. There are a trillion, poss yeah, possibly more, trillion different combinations on how you can run this, whether you want to use this for EDC, whether you want to use this for survival, I think I'm going to stick with the name Frankenstein on this because this pack does so much. Now as I mentioned, I only got this yesterday, so there will be some more content coming out on this in the future, but for a 16 litre pack, the Tasmanian Tiger Survival Pack is ridiculous. Now I know, strictly speaking, I said that it would be five packs, but I couldn't not include this. So we're gonna say this is an honorable mention and add this to the five packs. This is the GoRook Bullet laptop version. So this is a 19 liter pack made from 500D Cordura. GoRook are all about tough packs and I mean, just have a look at the website. So it was originally created by ex-military so that they could have, they could create this kind of community around rooking. Rooking is the pastime where you go for long walks with weights on your back. Generally, their packs tend to be around the 20, 25, sorry, around the 25 to 30 litre kind of range, but they were after something that was a little bit more so that you could commute with this. And also, if you're a slighter um, figure or, I don't know, form, frame, then it, it helps for that sort of thing. So you have some PALS webbing here on the front. It has a really nice clamshell opening with a slip in here and some um, additional organization here on the front as well, which is really nice. The zips on this are YKK, they are, in fact all of the, as I mentioned, they're all YKK, but they all use the RC YKK zips as well. The grab handle on the top of this is absolutely ridiculous. The one thing that I really do like about GoRook is they over-engineer everything quite literally over-engineer anything and it's designed so that after the nuclear apocalypse this pack is going to be around with the roaches um, but they they continue with the same uh, suspension system the suspension system on these are phenomenal it is a little bit wider at the shoulder which just moves it down away from the neck onto uh, onto the you, 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 closer to your delts from, from your traps, which is actually really nice. Uh, and then the back panel on this. So what they've recently done is they have changed the back panels. Rather than using the 500D Cordura on the back panel, these now use this 210D high tenacity Cordura, which is really nice. But this is also where you get access to the laptop compartment. Now I will say that the laptop compartment on this Although it is designed for a laptop, it's kind of for those smaller ones around the kind of 
14, 13 inch laptops. Uh, but yes, if you need to, you can fit that in here. I would say that if you do have a 15 inch laptop, a 15 inch laptop will fit in the main compartment. It's, it does rattle around a little bit, um, but yeah, you can, you can fit a little bit more than in here. And then you have this really nice lumbar support section on here. If I've not said it enough through this piece of content, for a 19 litre backpack, the GoRuck Bullet laptop is tough as hell. Now, I know I have said that the TST Sama CP15 is the toughest, but yeah, you know, I might have lied with that one. The, the Bullet Rook is, is just as tough, if not tougher. So there you have it. I know I said five, it's kind of six. And what it, it is actually six, isn't it? So there are six of the toughest 20 liters or less backpacks that you can get. Now I will admit, and I openly admit this, that this is not an exhaustive list. I'd, there are definitely other packs out there and I'd also like to hear if you feel that there are packs that I've missed off this Then please comment below and I'll, ha I'll have a look into those packs if this has been enjoyed Then I'll definitely follow this up with some more content on 20 liter or less backpacks um, I will leave a link to all of the packs that you have seen below uh, in the description below here I'll leave some of my social media links in there below as well uh, there are, I have made some other content on these packs, so I'll leave links to those as well. But for now, as always, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC. Now, keeping things Finnish themed, we have the Savota Jakari Small. Now, Savota have a few different versions of the Jakari. You can get these in a few different colours and so on and so forth. Um, that you know really put their gear through the paces so this is a it's an 18 litre pack is it an 18 litre pack it is an 18 litre pack Eighteen litres. it's raining hi i'm the moorlander and this is moorlander edc now on today's piece Hi, I'm the Moorlander and this is Moorlander EDC. Now what we are here to look at is Agilite. Agilite are a, are an is, come on, get your words out. Get your words out, son! <laughs> now I thought it would make perfect sense, having looked at the Veristalica TST, CP15, uh, that we would, that it is a top loader you can you can uh, make sure well, at least don't seem too many flies around today but as soon as I take my hat off the flies will descend five backpacks that yes you should definitely be looking at now I fumbled that bit so okay so this is an 18 liter oh you fucking fuck Tit bollocks, shit bollocks, fuck dick. Most Helicon Tex items are in a trillion different colours. Um, a map from Agilite, actually, sorry, it's the 